What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be taking a look at Why Lands. Why Lands? Because I want to play it, that's why. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of opportunities for bad puns and dad jokes in there. And I'm sorry for what happens in the future of this episode. Like, because I know it's going to go that way. It's 100% going to go that way. I can't... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nerd Castle. Let's start a new game. If you've never seen this game before, it's like a survival crafting sandbox colorful pixel voxel thing. Let's play! Colorful pixel voxel thing. Exploration mode? Ooh, let's do exploration mode. That sounds like the most fun. So I get to make my little guy over here. I'm gonna make this dude and then, wow, that guy's got the jawline right there. He looks like he should be standing around like in a fancy place, like in Windsor Castle, being like, hmm, yes. And too much to play. The queen, hmm, yes, of course. King Edward, of course. Unfortunate, Churchill. Churchill and Brandy. Um, let's see here, Castaway, I can have a roll. I guess I can't have a roll for right now. I'm gonna name him, oh, I don't know, Lickalog. There we go, his name is Lickalog. And then, oh, we can make it even worse. Does that guy have a beard? No, he's just got like a big ass caveman chin. That's okay, I have no desire to be on the Flintstones right now. Let's flip that back around. Uh, what hairstyles do we have? I'm gonna go with, I guess, that hair. I mean, he's kind of fancy though. I think I'm gonna go with this guy right here. This dude looks like he would be leading like a Union Charge or something like that. Uh, skin tone, that's fine, that's cool. Default clothing, can I be nude? What's up with the default clothing? What does that do? I'm probably, like, rearranging the world and breaking everything right now. It's all exploding! It's all exploding and falling apart. Ba-boom! Uh, let's play the game. Uh, make your game world. I'm not gonna name it Explore. I'm gonna call it Nerd Castle. Alright. Let's play some Y-Lands. Let's see what's going on here. Y-Lands. Gonna play some Y-Lands. Alright, so here we are inside the confines of the game. There's a pig! It attacked me. You saw that. You saw that. It tried to kill me. I guess I want to collect wood. So am I like... Oh, okay. So I just right-click it, and I get wooden pieces, and I get sticks. So from this conifer right here, I've gotten 50 sticks and 50 fragments of wood. There's a stick right there. There's a bow lettuce right there. It doesn't look like any lettuce that I've ever ingested, but I'm going to take it. What is that right there on the ground? A yellow pointed seashell. Okay. So I've got a seashell. Is there like a crafting menu or anything like that? So there's general actions. We can go free placing mode. I can summon a horse? Where's my horse at? Horse? No! I'm horseless! This is what I never wanted in life. I'm so horseless right now. Horseless and remorseless. Of course this is going to happen. Uh, there's Celandine over here. I've been playing a lot of The Witcher, and if I know what's coming in the future, picking up Celandine means I'm gonna be making some pretty dope potions pretty soon that will help me fight, oh, I don't know. It'll probably just allow me to make Swallow, or whatever it is. I'm pretty sure Celandine was used in Swallow, if I remember correctly. Uh, we got feathers, okay, so there's a grass tuft. I don't know if I need that, but, like, we're at that point in the survival game where picking up everything is important to me. We've got a crafting menu over here. So we've got head feathers. I thought that was a spear for a second. We've got an unlit campfire right there. We've got a burning torch, a balletus hat. How do I make a balletus hat? I can make a mushroom hat? Dude, we should make a, a sombrero. I need this. Hold on. We have a quest for a so I'm sorry. I have to have a sombrero. If they allow me to have a poncho on top of a... Ooh, there's some grass right there. Yep. Give it to me. That's giving me hay right there. We're going to have a... Yup. It's sombrero time. All right. I think I have enough for the sombrero. So can I make the sombrero? I can. So there's two different colored sombreros. There's one with like a big top hatty thing in the middle. And there's one that's a little bit smaller in the middle. I'm going to go with the one that's more festive. It seems like more fun to me. So there it is. We've made ourselves a sombrero. How do I put it on my head? I want to wear the sombrero on my... Oh my God. A pristine sombrero is now on top of my dome. Hell yeah. Uh, so we've got all kinds of stuff we can do here. We can make roasted mushrooms, but we need a cooking spot. We've got straw blocks, so apparently there's going to be some building or something like that. There's a flint lighter. There's a stone axe. We should probably start out with that. So we need ropes for all of these. How do I make ropes? Let's find out about dim ropes, though. So in order to make ropes, I need grass. Cool. Let's make some ropes then. I've got ropes. we got ropes for a minute. 
Shouldn't I have three ropes, though? How come it only says I have one rope? A stick bow? What? Hold on. Put the, put the stick bow in my hand, man. Is the stick bow... Oh, it's in the crafting menu. Gotcha. So it's putting them over here. See? I'm kind of dumb like that, but it's okay. I figured it out pretty rapidly. We've got ropes. Now all we need is rocks. So let's make ourselves some crafting equipment here because that's what we seem to do at the beginning of these games. What is that? A, a cyan seashell. Can I bust that rock right there? What happens if I smack it with a stick for a little while? I don't think stick is going to win versus rock, but like we can give it a go. Oh, there's stuff out in the water too. There's like little urchiny things. I don't know what the point of this game is. I don't know if anything's going to try and kill us. I suppose I should take a look around the landscape, but I don't know. I suppose we'll worry about that. And just There's a little crab right here. Anybody want to get crabs? So like, oh shit, I murdered a crab. So I've got a carapace and I've got crab meat. Hell yeah, what is that? Flint? Okay, I'll pick up some flint. I do think that some metamorphosed chert is probably going to be useful to us right about now. Uh, I think we got to find some more stones. I don't know exactly. Ah, uh, that piggy seems kind of angry. Go away, piggy. I want to hang out with you right now. It's not that I'm against you and what you stand for. It's just that I'm kind of terrified against you. He's like, well, I feel like we as pigs have been really struggling against this stereotype that we just exist to perpetrate violence against you, the survivor. And I'm like, well, you know what I want to perpetrate against you? I want to perpetrate me getting bacon against you. That's what I want to perpetrate. And if the game allows me to perpetrate that, I think this game is, we're going to get along just fine. We got a stone pick right there. We can make a stone mortar. We got a stone axe. Make the axe. Yup. Uh, we've got a knife right there. I don't know. A stone mace. Let's go for crafting stuff first. After we do that, I think the next thing I want is we can make wooden spikes. I don't know why, why would I want to do that? Is something going to try and hurt me? I thought this was going to be kind of like a fun little Nintendo, nothing's going to hurt you experience. And now I'm a tiny bit worried. Do I need to make arrows for that? Is that something that I need to do? I do. Okay, so we got stone arrows right there. I'm going to make a knife first because I think we need something to protect ourselves with. Inside my inventory, I'm actually going to drop all this stuff out. I just want crafting equipment. And in fact, I don't much like it when survival games automatically put items in your quick slot. I'd much prefer that they just go straight inside. Weapon will be number one. Uh, axe will be number two. And pickaxe will be number three. Wait, why is this happening? Can I rebind that? How do I rebind that? Ah, I suppose that I just put them in there then. Oh, that's the two key. Well, I want it in the one key. Oh, one is always your hand. Gotcha. One is always your hand, man. Okay. Well, there we go. We now have objects we can use for various types of crafting. Uh, let's go beat up on a stone first, and we'll see what happens when we do that. So you there, stone. I am against you. I do not like what you stand for. Damn right, stone. Oh, I'm, I think I'm actually... Ah. That looks like it digs dirt then, maybe. Oh. So we terraform. Okay. I can also collect wood from trees. I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, chop down that tree. I want to see what happens. Unleash war against this tree. Make it fall. Tree kind will never oppress us again. I am Sombrero Man. So what happens if I just keep beating on this thing? Anything good? Is it going to convert into like, ooh. So there's some logs right there. And my name is Lick a Log. So you know what we got to do? We got to put the lickies to it. We gotta put the lickies to it like a hungry bulldog. Like a bulldog. Every, every, do it like a bulldog. That's how I justify pretty much everything I do right now in life, is would my, bu would my bulldog do this thing? And if yes, if my bulldog would do this thing, then I go ahead and I do that thing, because my bulldog has super sound judgment. He never makes the wrong decision, except for when he eats something in the yard that he's not supposed to eat. And then he runs around all day with a tummy ache, just being like, why did I eat that thing? What is this? Raspberries? Ooh. What are these over here? What is this? Like, what's on this bush? I feel like something is on this bush. I'm gonna kill this thing. Hold on. It's gotta die. It's just like a grass plant. Okay. Well, never mind then. Away with you, grass bush. You are unuseful to me. That's some grain. I assume at some point I'll be able to make bread or something out of this. Maybe we should head up the mountain and kind of see what there is to see. Let's go, let's go have a little look and figure out what this world has laid out in front of us. And find out for the future what we should be working on. Is that Snur right there? 
little bit of snur laying on the ground. We don't get snow where I live. I kind of wish that we did, but on a certain level, I kind of don't. Because all my friends that live in places where there's snow are like, I hate shoveling snow. And they're like, you should be glad you don't have to deal with that. But I'm like, but snow sounds like fun. I want snur. So it looks like there's like pumas down there or something. There's like the side scaffolding of a rock concert over there. I don't see any islands or anything out here. What is that right there? Hold on, pickaxe. I need your assistance. What is this? Yes. Describe to me what this is. Is this clay or is this ore? Or is it just dirt? It's just dirt. See, I thought it was going to be something useful, but then it was just dirt, and now I'm disappointed. This is why I don't get excited about things in life. This is why I don't even try to get excited. Mm, we're on our little island here. Well, I don't see anything of interest except for that giant floating thing in the sky. There's a big thing up there. There's a thing floating in the sky, and I want to know what it is. It looks like some kind of electrical transformer or something like that. There's also, like, some bones down that way. Let's go check out the scaffold first, though, because until we can fly, I think that thing in the sky is not really going to be amazingly useful to me. So let's head over this way, and I want to see what that is. We've also got some more raspberries over here. I'm going to take those. If I eat these, what happens? Because I think it says I'm hungry right now. There's, like, a little picture of, like, a... There's a little picture of a turkey leg in the top left corner. Like, I don't know if I should... I have a knife? Like, can I stab a fool? How does the knife help me? I'm a little curious about the knife. The knife looks like it just does damn... I can hit this rock? Well, you better hit that rock then. You better smack the hell out of that thing. Take it out. Make it happen, Captain. Can I use maybe this on it? Because the pickaxe doesn't affect these. So maybe I can chisel at it like this. After a brief verification period, I don't think that that's how that works. However, that's not going to stop me from picking up rocks and things as I run around. We got some flint over on this side. Let's go grab it. Yup couple more raspberries just in case we get a little bit hangry who doesn't get hungry from time I'm always hungry I'm eternally hungry I just eat non-stop all day every day I just snack but I've got like a I really like trail mix for some reason I eat a lot of trail mix I got like this Cajun trail mix oh I eat it so much it's so good although then again every Cajun food is good there's no such thing as like a bad Cajun food that does not exist all things Cajun are deli delicious, and we should support them with every ounce of our power. As people that live in this world, we have to support Cajun food. So what is this over here? And how does this affect the gameplay? Like, what does this do for me? Is it just like a scaffold, or what is it? It's got like a symbol on it. I wonder if I just like salvage it? Or if I'm actually supposed to do something right here that causes it to react. I see like a wolf over there. So I'm going to try not to get eaten by that. There's a horse on that side. I want to try to make the horse love me. How do I make the horse love me? I've got grain. Can I feed the grains to the horsey? Like what if I put the grains right there? And then we go out to the five key. Horsey, would you like to be my friend? Large woodland creature. He is a wild horse. He's a wild horse. Ooh, he's so wild and free. Well, I didn't want to punch the horse. That's not very kind. I wanted to feed the horse. What do I feed the horse? Can I feed him? Ooh, I can feed him corn. Here you go, horsey. Eat this corn. Eat this corn until you grow to love me. I will make you fat. It will be you and I, horsey. Ooh, he's friendly now. It only took two coins. Yeah! Yay, we got a horse now. And so apparently... Oh, I can actually gallop now. So we can take a look around this entire place and, like, see what it's got for us. Riding around on my horsey, there's a bear. Let's go over here, because I'm allergic to berry hair. Uh, we'll go up the mountain, and we'll kind of have a look at this island and see what's around the edges. Oh, no, my horse seems a little upset right now. Horsey, no! Is he wild now? Why did my horse kick me off? Horse, why were you being a dick? Why was that necessary? Now you got me over here eating food. Horsey, why? I thought we were friends. Horsey, why are you so mean to me, though? Why he boot me off? I gave you corn. I gave you everything. I gave you love. I gave you a family to be a part of, and you throw me to the earth. Rotten animal. Oh, no. It's a bear. He's jiggling me to death. I'm being jiggled to death. Oh, my God. You were ruthlessly slain. 
by a brown bear. I have to make a new character? Can I make the same guy? I was going to say, I just wanted to make sure I could make... Apparently, bears will come and jiggle you to death. You got to watch out for that. He's going to be like, jiggle, 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 jiggle. So maybe I should focus on, like, am I on the same island right now? Or am I on a different... Am I on a different island? I don't know. Let me have a look around for a minute see how this goes. Well, for now, I don't know if this is the same island, but I found a treasure pile over here. So let's go check out the treasure pile. It looks like there's a top hat. Is that a top hat? Please tell me that's a top hat. Oh my god, we've got a top hat. A shovel. So there's a wooden box over here that has saltpeter inside of it. Okay, well apparently we are going to... Oh, I can sit on a log. Yay. Sitting on a log and hanging out. Some charcoal, a flint lighter, a coal basket. Apparently I just picked that up. I wasn't even worried about it. There's a smelting furnace over here. We've got wooden boxes that have all been placed. Piggy, why are you looking all threatening right now? Go away. Go away, I don't like you. Uh, what does this do? So there's nothing that I can craft. Nothing is apparently craft. The available formulas can be found under the crafting tab. Uh, I guess we don't have any of those. We don't have any of those for right now. So maybe we have to find different recipes and things like around at points of interest on the map or something. I'm just extrapolating here. I don't know exactly. But I think it would probably be a good idea for us to get back to doing what we need to do. So I need ropes. And then I need to get a pick back. I need to get an axe back. Obviously, I need to get my knife back. Let's make another couple ropes just so our future ropiness is ensured. There we go. So future ropiness has been guaranteed. For a couple of stones, we can get a mortar and a pestle. Uh, we need a blacksmith's forge. There's a wooden spoon right there. I don't know what I would use that for, but we've got a grass sleeping pad as well. Okay. Yeah, make a grass sleeping pad. Did that use up my knife, or is my knife still around and I just needed to have it? That didn't use up my knife, so I'm glad to see that. Let's place this. I'm going to use this place down here as my base, because obviously we've already got stuff here, so I see no reason not to do this. I will place the sleeping pad right there. We will unpack it. How do I unpack this? There we go. Oh, yeah, it unrolls. And then it looks like I can lay down on it. Yay, we can go sleepy time in our undies. Sleeping out in the middle of the wilderness in your undies seems like a good way to get a mosquito bite or like an ant claw mark, like somewhere that you don't want it to be. That's I'm, I'm a little worried about that. Oh, look, it's an elderberry bush. There's prunella. Okay, we'll grab all that stuff right there. And I'm actually just going to clear out the grass right here so that we have space to work with. I've got axes and things of that nature too, but we've got like storage mediums over here. We've got a furnace that we don't even need to build. So I think I'm going to leave it alone for the moment. Like I'm just going to kind of clear all the random roughage out of the way. And then we'll get started with all the crafting and the building and whatnot. I do want that hay though. How much hay do I have right now? I keep hitting the C key. Let's see here. I, just as you, was a castaway trying to survive on this Wyland. Quite obviously I failed, but I can still help you do better than I did and avoid the same mistakes that I made. Before my death, I had maps. I had any maps or keys. They are all yours. All things I learned, everything I built, and all the animals that became my friends, it's all yours now. Apparently, I've got a testament right there. His last will and testament. That's probably for my previous character. I bet. Do I place this? Or, like, what do I do with this? Apparently, I'm also hungry right now. Let's eat some blackberries so that we're not hungry anymore. Mmm. Delicious blackberries. Taste like deer pee. Mmm. Every time I see a deer standing in a blackberry bush eating blackberries, they've peed. I've never seen a deer fail to pee when they're in the middle of a blackberry bush. So I'm just saying, if you eat blackberries, there's a pretty good chance they're going to taste like pee. It's like 50-50 at the bare minimum. Uh, and the crafting menu. What kind of stuff can I make for right now? I cannot make an herb bag. A burning torch requires a torch. How do I make a torch? I feel like a torch is a good idea. We can make a carrot nose. Okay. A grass shirt. Yeah, go ahead and do that so that we're not walking around all weird and shirtless. And then I'm also going to get my sombrero back because it's the principle of the thing, all right? It's the principle of the thing. I had a sombrero. I want more sombreros. I could break up sticks into that. How do I make my first campfire or whatever? A grass skirt. Sure. Aloha. Oi. Aloha. Oi. Do these actually, like, do anything for me? I'm, I look even broker now than I did before in my underwear. That's never a good sign when you look broker in your in your real, like, work clothes. You look more broke in your real work clothes than you look in your underwear. That's not a good place to be. It's just not, it's not a good spot. 
So there's potatoes right there. If I had clay and bellows and an anvil and a hammer, I could make a blacksmith forge. For now, we'll start with a stone mortar. Maybe that'll help out. Stone mortar. Uh, destruction will yield gravel. What happens if I equip it? Do I put it on the ground or something? There we go. I can apparently right-click. Ooh, a roasted meat slice. Hell yeah, I love roasted meat. That's among some of my favorite things. So we've got a mortar and a pestle now. That looks like it'll allow me to make pigments out of grasses and things of that nature. Maybe I can dye my clothing and make something cool happen. A crab carapace helmet? Dude, I need that. I need that so badly in my life. I suppose I'll make a wooden spoon. We will whittle that. I don't know what stuff here is going to be useful and what's going to unlock more things. So I'm just going to make everything that seems like it's going to be useful for crafting on one level or another. We've got black pigment. That's probably using our coal right there. I don't see anything else in the list that I can currently make. There's an unlit bonfire right there. How do I make a campfire? The unlit campfire is right there. And so let's make an unlit campfire, and I can place it. Okay, yeah, place it right there. And then I'm going to interact with it. And, like, let's say that I wanted to light this thing. I've got a flint lighter. Oh, I can light the fire. There we go. Come on, Splatty, light that fire. Do, 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 do. All right, so we've lit a fire. Uh, the next question is, what can I do with this fire? So I can make wood pulp. I can make roasted vegetables. We'll then roast some stuff on. Oh, that takes a minute to get done. Okay, so we queue that on up, and it's just going to chill right there, and it's going to do its thing. We do have a campfire right now, which makes me wonder if there's anything else I can do as far as crafting is concerned. Because, frankly, I've done something fairly incredible today, and I've, I've, I've earned this. I've earned this. Oh, wooden spikes. I can just, like, place them around. They go on the ground, huh? Is it like a booby trap? Well, I'm going to put out wooden spikes then. Just to, like, protect myself. You know, just to cover up my base a little bit. So we got wooden spikes over here. Yeah, I just want them around, like, the outskirts. I don't want, like, a lot of things. But I do want myself to be protected just in case something comes from that direction. Well, I'm trying to schlep. Well, I'm trying to schlep. I don't want things to bother me while I schlep. Uh, we've got baked potatoes over here. We've got wood pulp. I don't know how wood pulp does anything for me. Either way, we have real stuff to eat now. We have roasted vegetables, and that's pretty damn amazing. So, what else is there to do around here? Like, what other little things can I get up to? What kind of trouble exists out here in the dark? I wonder if something's going to, like... Fight me if I go to nighttime. I am actually kind of concerned about this. Like, there's got to be something on this island that's probably, like, deadly to me. I mean, we found out that bears are definitely on that list. Bears are verified ass-whooping right there. Bears will go in deep on you. But I guess I'll just wait it out and I'll see what happens during the course of the nighttime. So I decided to sleep till morning because nighttime seems like it might be hostile to my survival. And so I took a little sleep right there. We are going to be hungry. Take a little sleep. Take a little sleep. Take a little sleep with me. Take a little sleep. All right, so we had roasted vegetables for breakfast. That sounds amazing. I love roasted vegetables. You take, like, some onions and, like, some bell peppers, some red peppers, like, some chili peppers, or maybe, like, some jalapenos, and then you stir in, like, a little bit of chicken. There's a cabin over here. What's inside the cabin? Hold on, I need to get my knife out just in case there's homesteaders. I might have to murder them. Let's put that right there. I think my knife ran out too. I don't think I have a knife anymore. Oh no, my knife ran out. Hold on, I can't go meet new people without some level of protection. Let's go get like a knife. Let's go get something that I can stick a fool with if I need to. Well, the, the better question is why the hell am I making my camp over there? If there's a perfectly good house over here, I can use that ladder. But, like, how do I go inside? Oh. There's barrels? What's in here? Cotton seeds and carrot seeds? Okay. I'll take those. What's inside that one? Nothing. There's also a wooden chest, and there's nothing inside of it. 
All right. So I guess this is just like a little secluded treehouse right here. It might be a good idea to set up inside of there just in case anything tries to, like, kill me or do anything untoward. There are a lot of woodland creatures out here with shaggy coats and angry visages. And so it might be something worth doing. Hmm. Yeah. I might set up inside of there with my bedroll or whatever just so I can get up off the ground. And I have a place to be just in case anything tries to kill me. We're on the lookout for flint right now, so hopefully we can find that. And if we see anything more interesting on the map, we will continue to tool around and also look at that, too. So hopefully we'll find, like, anvils and other stuff around the island that might be useful to us. But so far, nothing but darkness and shadows. I'm going to continue to run around. This game is called Wildlands. If you wanted to check it out, i got a link for you down below. The game doesn't come out for a little while, uh, at least uh, five or six days from the time when this is released. And so keep an eye on that Steam page. Add it to your wish list if you wanted to support the developers. If you wanted to support me, check me out on Twitch TV slash SplatterCatGaming. Or the easiest way to do that is just to like this video. It takes the channel a long way, surprisingly enough. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. This is Y-Lands. Goodbye, Lands.